And here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. This is David Game, now with an adjusted volume level. Woohoo! No, seriously. Um, Happy New Year, naturally. I didn't comment on the last video, so, and a friend of mine pointed that out. So, therefore, I am now commentating. Unfortunately, I'm commentating without a single clue as to what I'm actually going to do. Like, yeah, I'm now level 41 with Lilith. A long way from the last video, I believe I was level 48? No, it's 48. 28? I don't know, who knows. Anyway. Okie dokie. That's strange. How did I earn an achievement when I haven't rescued anybody? That was a bit strange. Apparently, I've rescued Athena. And I have not rescued Athena. <laughs> that is peculiar. This Hello, is the issue with Marcos Borderlands 1. Here. I've got an One of the only things I dislike you. about Come Borderlands 1 my place is the fast junction. travel system. And the game is... Uh, it's not... The general gameplay isn't glitchy. But some of the mission glitches, like, again, how did I just achieve an achievement that I had not achieved? That makes little to no sense. Nah, hey man, Scooter here. I could sure you use you to get hungry. out of doing some and actual work. Come on in and I'll give you another job. Everybody asking me for a bloody favour. Shut up, you maggots. Alright, seriously. Hello, let's Traveler. There are new missions available on the T-Bone Junction Bounty Board. Yeah, missions upon missions, yeah. I'm not interested. I just want to go save Athena. So, yeah, as you can tell, I am currently just looking for stuff to do. The biggest issue I'm facing at the moment is obviously figuring out how to compensate on something when... I mean, we all know I can talk about nothing. I'm doing it right now. I created a video out of it the other day. But, as it stands, we are having... Ah, there we go. I should have been in a prison, but I'm back at the very start of T-Bone Junction. That's just one of the more frustrating things about the the DLC for Borderlands 1 more than anything. I'll do that to you. I noticed that with uh, the Doctor, Doctor Ned's survival horror. I can't remember it. Uh, Zombie Island, whatever. Either way, it was a nuisance. So let's ride on the highway. Woohoo! Go real fast and turn left. If you don't watch South Park, that joke would have just went completely over your head. But and plus the fact that I didn't do the Carmen voice. Uh -oh. And there is a rather large truck. These brofos can't take me up. Luckily, I should be able to just breeze through this highway because it took down the two blockades. Now, if they're back up for some reason, we're going to quit this game right now. I'm going to say goodbye to you and carry on with some other game. More like Borderlands 2, because the very purpose for doing Borderlands 1 was just to get the backstory. And I've done that. I have completed the main game. And I would have said more about that, but obviously I got mates that have not completed the main game of Borderlands 1, and I'd rather not ruin it for them because, well, you know, I wouldn't want it ruined for me, yo. Woohoo! And this is where it gets on my nerves because now I've got to uh, maneuver myself. Past the blockade and already maneuvered myself past. Only you can prevent drone fires. I know I'm moaning sure a lot now, but I, you don't understand. I did this like awesome. half an hour ago and figured it'd save me inside the bloody dungeon. It, not dungeon. But it did not save me outside of it. Inside of it. And that is really that annoying. And that's the tricky part about Borderlands 1. Is right, I've got to see what aren't save points at all, they're just, if you die, you will recover there, yeah, awesome, good times, but, if you turn it off, apparently you're not going to re re-emerge there, which seems like a very strange oversight. 
obviously, I mean, clearly they learned from it, good old Gearbox, they learned from all those issues, because Borderlands 2 doesn't suffer from so many, although it still has a few glitches. Like, uh, for instance, anybody using a Necromancer on Borderlands 2 should be very careful of the Buck Up ability, which is the one that regenerates your shields. Now, I know, obviously, that's, that's pretty awesome for a solo player. Not so good when you're in group play, and not so good if you actually want to come back to life after having been attacked. Again. You see, ah, you know, I'm talking too much about Borderlands 2 on a Borderlands 1 video. We're gonna wear, uh, we're gonna look at that. I realise I'm not gonna look at that. I'm just kind of running along. theme tune stuck in my head now. Do 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 Yeah, you all know it. It's all up in my head now. Anyway, I hope you're all having a good New Year so far. I'm just casually driving along the highway, trying to find my way back to the place I was before I left the place before. Off me, trying that one way and I was trying to get up on that ledge. Just won't go up before me. It was not going down like that gearbox said. They said, No! You got to find the real way round, boy. And that I shall. That I shall. Ah! Okie dokie. either go really well or really badly. So, let's just see how that one goes, shall we? On. There we go. Through the hole, baby. Through the hole. Take it to the hole. Alright. So, we are now reaching where I was recently. So we're going to get some killing going on, shall we? Not that I condone killing outside of a controlled environment now. Don't worry. Any chance they didn't notice that one? Yeah, I think they did. Well, we got that. As you can see, they're melting due to my Phoenix ability. That's always fun. And to put more perspective on the phase walk ability, explosion, as you go into it, you are invisible to the enemy, and as you come out, down you go, buddy, down you go. Alright, so, the 
the first time ever in my entire life. Unlike that highway. Let, let's go through Lockdown Palace. The Crimson Lance medics deploy turrets to heal other members of the Lance, making them a formidable enemy. I just thought I'd uh, make the loading screen a bit more interesting for you. Now, let's restock up on some ammo. We can't be rolling into gunfights with that ammo now, can we? You know, you can't really roll up and be like, hold on lads, I've got no ammo left, and they all put the guns down and go, yeah, no problem mate, if you just want to run back to it. No, it doesn't happen like that. You need ammo. You need to survive. That is a very nice message. Now. walking abilities like for me I've got these shock damage increases but there's some melee attack damage increases obviously anyone familiar with Borderlands will know that you'll be able to cater your character how you see fit now that's more more true in Borderlands 2 but in Borderlands 1 it still obviously applies you can uh, go down certain, certain routes with each character I've chosen more of a elemental damage kind of situation Still did it, but you know, clever, clever Trevor right now. Hey, are you attempting stealth?